Hello friends, welcome to another exciting episode using CorelDRAW. Right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how I created this 3D text effect inside of CorelDRAW. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is go to file and click on new. And um, I'm just going to do doing the basic setups. So um, I'm just going to give it, um, this is why I put the name, 3D text effects like this very simple um ignore all of this this rgb uh, the size i'm using is 6.4 by 3.6 inches please resolution stays at 300 and um, every other thing here stays the same right i'm using uh, the coral draw 2024 right so if you need that click on the description in the link of this video and um, download from the telegram channel right great so after you do all of this just click ok but because i've created mine already which is here i'll just click on it so when it opens up it opens up in this page like this of course um don't worry about these colors you're seeing here this is the basic colors that we're going to be using i'm going to be sending this as um, svg files that you can practice with so you can just drag them inside of color draw and use the same colors that i use right good right so um let's get started the first thing you want to do is double click on this rectangle here like this and um when you do that make sure you remove the outline right always remove the outline very very important right so i'm just going to unclick this and check it what i did was to right click so right click on your mouse here to remove the outline right so what you want to do is um you can just give it a random color i'll just give it a white color first but this is not the main color but let me just start with this along the line i will have to change this or better still i'll give it this harsh color right so clicking on the hash color come to the eyedropper to click on it and um select this when this bucket thingy comes up just click here like this and this is the first color so let's go on to invite our text tool let's call on text tool click on anywhere inside of your working space and i'm just going to type king right my cap locks on so i have um, uppercase so i'm going to change this text to what i used what I used was um, this show card gothic. Um, so click on the selection tool before you change that. Or while you are in your text tool, double click like this, Control A to select everything, and um, then you can now change. So you see the change, right? So click out, and then um, you can make this big guy here. Click here like this, make it 24. It's already 24, so that's why I like doing this manually, right? So click and adjust from the edge like this and um, like this okay this is too big i think somewhere around here is cool so somewhere around here is good right so press p on your keyboard to center it to the center of the page just like this okay so right about now the next thing i want to do is um i think i'm okay with the space but i'm just going to space it a little bit so to do that go to your shape tool like this click on it and what you need to do is just bring this inside like this not too much you don't want it to be too close but it's okay like this right i like the spacing actually um the way the font is it's cool right so the next thing you want to do is um um at this point you need to convert this to curve right so um ctrl q to convert it to curve and um what you need to do is ctrl c and ctrl v to make a duplicate copy of this and um you can just bring this somewhere here right we might be needing this later on right or before we do that the best way to actually do this is let me control z make a duplicate copy before you convert this to curve control c and control v and uh, bring this here so drag and position it here so we can then go back to this and convert this to curve like this right easy peasy so having done this, the next thing you want to do is we're approaching the next step. So the next step is to go over to where you have your drop shadow here. But when using the drop shadow, click and hold and select the contour tool. Right? So when you select the contour tool, the first thing you want to make sure is in place and uh, the property bar here is make sure you're selecting outside contour. Right? And um, this step, you need just one step. So leave it at one step. We can always change this later on. And um, make sure you're selecting rounded corners because if you don't select rounded corners you select uh, might have corners this is what you get so when you drag from the text like this and drag out this is what you get so i don't want this to be too much so i'm just gonna just small like this you can see that the corners are 
squarish kind of like um, I don't like this so I'll just click here and change it to my third corner no not not this round corners please right so if you select um, beveled corners this is what beveled corners will give you but then let's stick to round corners for the sake of this tutorial right so when you do this immediately go back to your selection tool then you can now go up to objects and um, click on brick contour apart just click the shortcut is ctrl k and it's going to break it apart great so you can see that if i drag this out i have my broken um, contour and i have this first one apart so with this one i'm just going to go ahead and um, i'm going to give it let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see okay so i'm just going to give it this color so i'm just going to select it first make sure i select it first go to your eyedropper to select it and um, click on this color and apply it here just like this all right so this is step number one so step number two we're going to apply the same effect that we applied to this one here on this white so that's why i'm selecting the white now so what you want to do is kindly go ahead to the contour tool select it select it repeat the same process you did for the first one but this time i'm going to have enough space with this one here so the space is going to be slightly bigger than what we had in the first one just slightly bigger not too much so what i'm doing is i'm dragging up and down right down to reduce up to decrease so i'm going to use something around this area like this and i'm just going to release right you can change the color here immediately you finish doing this you can select a color here just to see what you you've done uh, and if it's not right you can increase and reduce it just the way you want right but i'm just going to leave mine um this way okay so with that done go to your selection tool you see that these two they are together right so we need to break them apart so go to objects and go to break contour apart once again right so when you click out you can see that they've been broken apart right so you want to give this one this white one here so you want to give it um this color here so what do you do so go to uh, make sure you're selecting it first you can see i'm selecting it then go over to your eyedropper to select this and zoom close so you don't give it to something else and put it here like this you can see i've applied that same color to that one here so what i'm going to do is go back to selection to select this one and i'm just going to make this white this is going to be white like this so let me put this uh, put this out of the way i will see make reference to that right so at this point what i want to do is i want to create um, a 3d -ish effect out of this one so what how do i do that very very simple in fact this is um, the easiest step here so what you want to do is um ctrl c and ctrl v to make a duplicate copy of this what you want to do is to fill it with this color here so with it selected click on the eyedropper to select this one select this one now i'm going to leave this one here now i want to change the background because as you can see this, this one here and the color here we have the same color so this is where this comes in so what you want to do now is right drag and place here so when this option comes up select copy fill here so when you click on it boom this is what happens so you just copy this field onto the, ori the original rectangle here so then we can now work with this guy here so what we need to do is uh, press shift page down to take it down to the page then press control page up like this just once then we can now bring this downwards like this bring it down bring it down then to create that 3d-ish looking effect uh, with your arrow key holding down shift move it along to this side like this and voila there you go okay so um that's by the way so um we're still in the process of creating so the next thing you want to do is um to make a shadow out of this guy here so how do you do that very very simple so what you need to do is make a duplicate copy of this one again ctrl c ctrl v but this time we're going to be using a black color because we want to use it for the shadow 
so what you want to do is shift page down take it below and um, control page up just once you can see it's still selected so move it along to this point like this so what you want to do is make sure you have a nice um, effects here so move it along this part so what you want to do is go to effects and um, click on blow and click on Gaussian blow like this and um, you can choose to increase the radius just like this right increase the radius just like this and um, when you get your desired results you can then dock this back and we're good to go so um now for this one we have here which is this one here now select this guy here this one you have here and um the way you did with this one click on it right drag and um, click on it when it appears here click on copy fill here you can see guys so um now that you have that view what you want to do is i'm just going to rotate it so click on it click on g on your keyboard and um, just click on reverse so it's going to go from this lighter color to the darker region but you can adjust it to your taste by reducing it so how do you do that just drag this point here and drag it down like this okay great okay so you can see now so if you press this press G you can drag this along the line and move it to any position you want to place it so at this point now we are halfway done just to add some little bit of spice to it to make it more realistic so what you need to do is um, select this one here we want to add some shadows to this one but we're going to do this a different way so click on this and go over to where you have your shadow effects and uh, what you want to do is i'm just going to hold down shift while i drag from this point here and position it here but you see that the shadow is too much so i'm just going to make adjustments to it i'm going to reduce um, the feathering to like seven and i'm just going to position this well here like this right i can bring it out slightly just like this and i can increase the opacity like this right great okay so um the next thing you want to do is apply some light effect uh, a little bit of light effect here and there would not do any bad but before i do that one thing i want to do again is i'll come here i'll apply some noise to the background so go to effects and go to noise click on noise and add noise like this it's going to bring up another panel here so you can use these settings that i used here so um noise type gaussian blow right so the level 50 density 50 and uh, the color mode i use is intensity take note of that right so i'm just gonna dock this back like this and we're good to go so um we're still in the process of adding some extra effect to this so the next thing i want to do is i'm going to go over to my rectangle too and i'm going to draw a rectangle here just from this point to this point i'm going to give it a white color of course right click here to remove the outline just like this and what you want to do again is i want to fade this rectangle so how do i do that very simple go over to transparency to and uh, you want to zoom close for this still selected make sure it's still selected uh, very important right go to your transparency and uh, what you want to do is hold down shift and um, drag like this so you have your nice white effect going from this point to this point here like this okay great so what you want to do to this is actually power clip it inside of this object what do you do to achieve that click on this right click on it and click on power clip so when this arrow pops out kindly select this king and voila it goes inside but then it's not in the right place so how do you adjust that very simple so like i said very very simple what you need to do is double click on the king or click on edit when you are on the text click on edit and uh, what you just need to do is just drag this up like this and position it here so when you are done click on finish and voila boom you have your nice light effects right so let's spice this up a little bit so what do i mean spice this up 
Um, I'm going to, going to go over to my ellipse tool. I'm going to draw an ellipse like this. Um, I don't want to make it too big. Give it a yellow color. So just select the yellow color. Remove the outline. So what you want to do is um, go to effects and click on blur. Gaussian blur. And you want to give it the highest value like this. Um, not too much. Somewhere around here. So I'm using um, 145 radius. Click enter. And uh, what you want to do with this is go over to transparency and click and select screen right so when you select screen what you just need to do is just with the ellipse selected just stretch this from this point here like this and uh, boom there you go so you can choose to reduce this or increase this but in my case here I'll just um, click on transparency again click on this one uniform transparency and I'm just going to reduce it and set this to like 38 and when I'm done with this, I can expand this furthermore to cover up these spaces here like this. Alright, so um, back to um, what you have here. Okay, so um, back to what you have here, right? That's the background. Um, Ctrl Z to put it back. We want to apply some um, adjustment to it. So go to effects and um, go to adjust and go to curve, right? Who says you cannot do some Photoshop adjustment inside Corel Draw? Well, you have to ask questions again about that because it's very possible. So inside of the adjustment, what you need to do is just focus on the RGB tone curve. And what you need to do is just bring this down here like this to create this nice um, contrasty effect for the text. So you can reduce it down and uh, go over to your green channel and just pop it up a bit and there you go right so close this up I might want to reduce this a bit so go over to transparency um, and just increase it like this to reduce the effect great so when I'm done I'm just going to go over to my text and I'm just going to write 3d text effects Right, so 3D text effects with my shape tool. I'm going to space this out like this, and I'm just going to make this white and position this here like this. I'm going to make it bold. Right, great. All right, guys, this is how I created this nice 3D text effect. Wait a minute, I'm missing one thing. Okay, so to spice this up somewhat more, I like using the word spice up more. So. Um, I want to create some extra effects here. So how do I do that? I'm going to go over to my knife tool. I almost forgot this Go to your knife tool and make sure you are selecting this freehand mode not the Busier mode, right? So what you want to do is Go ahead and select the king. See the king is selected So click on uh, the knife tool So the king is selected like this click on the knife tool which is this one here and uh, by default mine is selecting the uh, freehand mode so what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to draw a wavy line now this is what i mean wavy line draw like this draw like this and like this with the king go over to your pick tool select the line you just created which is this one you can see now it's like a cut so it created a cut effect so what you want to do with this is click on g on your keyboard and you want to change the direction of this gradient to from this part here to this part extend this out like this and um, you can extend this also out like this or take this out somewhat more like this guys and um, let me do it with this and as you can see this is how i created this effect inside of coral draw yes coral draw right so if you like this video and you want to see more of this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please turn on the post notification so you won't miss any of the videos i'll be dropping anytime from now i'll see you in the next video ciao